There's a new model going around, which is the Kimi K2 thinking model that surpasses or at least levels with few of the major LLMs. For the agentic tool usage, it seems like it's in first place. Now, instead of just looking at the benchmarks, let's actually test this model by trying to clone the design from one website and place it in another. In my last video, I showed how you can create this website design copier. I think I'll rename this to cloner or something like that but yeah i show how you can create that and why it's actually better than using just a plain mcp but this is basically using a scrape endpoint from firecrawl along with the branding format to retrieve a complete design for any given website so for example if i were to clone the design of neobrealism.dev i'd place this inside of the playground select branding let's keep markdown out of it let's also toggle the parse pdf out as well and click to start scraping soon enough you should have access to the images components colors spacing fonts typography everything that you need to try to replicate that same design so i already did this with cloud code and this was the result just to be clear the original website is this and it was converted over to this by using neobrealism as the context for building this entire design. Now we're going to be testing in practice how Kimi K2 handles doing exactly the same. And I know that we have some problems with that. First of all, I'm using skills and this is a particular feature from Claude. So Claude might use this better. I'm not even trying to compare it exactly with Claude code, but just see how it handles just using a script and based off of some given information like the one that firecrawl gives it how will it actually produce and try to replicate that same design over in any given website but yeah honestly at the end of the day we are kind of comparing them but i do understand that this is not a really fair comparison so to use the kimi k2 thinking model what i'm doing here is getting it from open router you can head over to open router right here type in kimi k2 click on the thinking link you'll be redirected over to this page which you could just click to copy that model come down here and click to view more models click to add a custom model and place that in here then in this drop down you could add your open router key here and add the open router base url right here after all that setup you can close that toggle this drop down and select moonshot kimi k2 now let me get exactly the same prompt that i used so use your website design copy your skill to fetch actually to be fair we should aim to use a more descriptive so that it understands what a skill actually is so i changed the prompt to inside the skill.md there's a description of how you can fetch for a website's design check it out then when you have the full context, make my project have the same exact design. The website you should be trying to clone is, and then I sent the neobrutalism.dev. Let me hit enter and let's see what Kimi K2 builds for us. I actually noticed that it was on the wrong branch, but now it's all good. And it seems like it understood its task. So now it's running the script and... As soon as we get a response, it should start working on the design based on whatever is retrieved by using Firecrow. Okay, it seems like it fetched everything successfully. Now it's probably going through the entire code base to understand where it can change and apply the new design. It did create a to-do list, which is already different from Cloud Code. And if you're not familiar with Open Router and want to check out how is your token activity going, you can just head over to this page and you'll see all of the requests made. So the last requests were up to probably like this point. And by the way, if you want to use it faster, you could change the provider and use this AI turbo from Moonshot, which has a better latency and a better throughput of nearly five times the tokens per second. But you'll end up paying nearly twice the input price and like up to three times the output price while that's running let's take a look at the benchmarks because for the swe bench verified which i mean a lot of people consider it to be the best benchmark for coding it's around 71.3 percent which in comparison to other models would place it probably at like seventh place just above its past kimi k2 instruct but as for the humanities test, this is pretty massive. SWE multi-model, this is massive as well. Yet overall, the most surprising part is that it's an open source model. This usually gets a huge marketing since a bunch of people will basically announce it as a free model. 
But to be honest, you won't be able to run this on your computer. To actually take advantage of its full potential, I mean, you'd, you'd need an extremely powerful GPU. It has around like 600 gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken. So no one's going to actually like run this for free, you know? Uh, okay, it seems like it's done. Let's give it a test. And this is what we got. I feel like because it's a thinking model, <laughs> it might have overthought everything. I think the shadows are even better than the Cloud Codes version, but it decided to change the text color. It seems like it didn't even change the font, so that kind of sucks. There's also these kind of plus signs that in the original design make sense, but for this one, it doesn't. Cloud Codes seem to have removed that successfully while the Kimi K2 thinking model really didn't. It was able to execute the skull pretty fine. It fetched for the context needed to find the design for neobrutalism.dev, but didn't really manage to place everything in order and really create a nice design for us. I do these types of tests because I know there are a lot of people that want change through LLMs to find one that makes more sense with what they're building, or some just wants to have a cheaper model overall. But I wouldn't say this is the case for the Kimi K2 thinking model, just because, well, overall, even in the benchmarks and by really a fast test, I know that there will be a lot of people arguing that, well, you only tested one time and probably it went through the route that gave that result. But maybe if you test it again, it will create a result even better than Cloud Sonnet 4.5. But in the first try, Cloud Sonnet 4.5 gave me a much, much better result. And even like commercially, I think Kimi K2 has succeeded in being the absolute best open source model out there. So yeah, this is a pretty simplistic test. If you've made your own, please let us know down in the comment section. And by the way, if you want to have access to this website design and copy your skill, which I might rename over to website design cloner. Yeah. Just check for its link down in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.